morning, good morning. Guess where I am? I'm in Rebay. I'm about to do the Paris Rebay challenge. Today is the day that the women pros ride Paris Rebay, Femme, Avex Swift, and I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the cobbles, so this will actually be a challenge. I'm doing 70K, there are eight sections of cobbles, and we're setting off in a minute. So come along, come and, oh, come and watch my pain of riding over the cobbles. I am actually worried. There's not many rides that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really scared about doing it. Today is one of them. And it's pretty chilly, I've already got short sleeves. And after the ride, we're coming back to watch the women finish in the velodrome, which is just behind there. I've been in this morning and it looks amazing. We actually finished on the velodrome as well, so that'll be an experience. And do you know what? I'm looking around. There's like people with like really skinny road tires. There's people with like fat bikes, mountain bikes, road cleats, mountain bike cleats. I don't know. I've gone for gravel bike, 40 tires and mountain bike shoes. Also, my cassette's rattling uh, because I borrowed some wheels off a friend and I think it's in some spacer. So. Two things I'm not a fan of. Cobbles and headwind. Actually three things. Flat rides. And this one's gonna have all three. So this is my little personal challenge. Oh my god, that wind! I'll tell you what, I think Shimano are saving the day for me. They have like a little rubber spacer. You can win today now. Thank you so much! You're welcome. Oh, absolute hero. Two star, this is two star cobble. cobble section done that is meant to be the easy one there's two star and that was worse than any cobbles that I've done in the UK so I'm like I've got another seven of them and they get harder onwards to the next one I did it and there's no rattle oh thank you so much Shimano honestly unreal Four sections down, four to go, and honestly, I actually really like them. I didn't think I would. I thought I'd find them like a lot more, uh, woo! Um, I don't know, like dif not difficult because they are hard to ride on. Um, but I actually just like them. It's almost like a little challenge. I get like a little, a little rush after I've done it. I'm like, boom! I did it. Uh, there's riding over them, and then there's racing over them. And if you get behind someone and you want to get past, like it's really hard to try and like. So I can't even imagine what the women are going to do today racing on cobbles like it's hard enough just me getting over them never mind trying to be tactical and race around them we've only got like 20k left but it was like four four lots left so fun i'm gonna go back i want to go and film some of the people on the cobbles because that was so fun oh my god i love that one that was my best one it was like i think it was two 2.1k loved it i don't know why i'm so excited i normally hate cobbles i'm gonna have to And they don't even look that bad, but honestly, ride them. They are so bumpy, but they don't, they just don't look it on camera. But well, they are, look at the faces of people, you can see how hard they are. As soon as you get off the cobbles, there's people stopping, fixing like mechanical, shaking their hands out. Maybe I'm just a masochist, but I love the cobbles. I think it's because in the UK, all our cobbles are all generally on. Are there any flats up? It's always on like really steep hills. So it's kind of like you've got to contend with 
the the steep climb and the cobbles really really 100% I would recommend I honestly didn't think that I was gonna enjoy I thought I was gonna be like oh I don't like the cobbles even more but tell you what Pyro Bay Challenge has uh, converted me to liking cobbles to the cobbles. Not only that, not only have I had an amazing ride and got to experience some of the cobbles, we get to watch the women's race finish here today. We are here! Yes. So I'm just watching the race, it's about 10k left. I'm just thinking like, how many other sports are there? where they're riding the exact cobbles that I was on today. I just love this about cycling, the accessibility of it, that the roads are always there, like you can always go and ride them. <laughs> that is such a finish, and that is why women's cycling is phenomenal. And the velodrome is absolutely packed. What did you feel about the race? Did you like it? Yes! Thank you so much. I just felt earlier on, I don't know, as I was watching the race, just really really like proud that where women's racing is because there's all these people all this media all these supporters here for women's racing and it's just the best it's ever ever been and i'm so grateful that i get to be here and to be part of this incredible event it's the fourth edition it's only going to get bigger um, and in a sec i'm going to go and have a chat with kate from swift who has been such a huge pivotal part of bringing and forcing and bringing about change for women's racing and that girl who just got the bottle that is why to encourage the future generations to know that there is a career that there is something for women in cycling you don't necessarily need to have another job that this could be your career if you can pull it yeah and you've read a bit about it yeah <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate Verano. I'm Director of Women's Strategy at Zwift. So tell me about how you feel being here today because you've done so, so much to just improve women's cycling, the visibility of women's cycling, getting more women into cycling. Like I feel a bit vindicated. I feel like it's working. And I feel like um, so many of us that have been fans for so long and now to have the world get to see what we've already enjoyed for years and what we know to be incredible racing and fierce personalities and just like performances that uh, are the best of sport and to to give it the world stage and to give it this iconic Peru Bay treatment which you know Peru Bay started in 1896 so it's this is like you know the fourth edition of the women's race and to see the crowds the the mobbed photographers around Lada around the podium around uh, like all all the way around the velodrome it's just it's just incredible and it just makes me really really optimistic about the future <laughs> I know that ain't gonna make me. Yeah, it's, awful. it's like, all. If they're it's all always here been for, there. For, and that's the yeah. frustration that it's always been there, but it's just never had the. And now, 
it's like, oh wow, like people get to watch it and they love it. They get to see all these and characters. They to, and, and they like, get to be fans of these yes. incredible women. And have their favorites. And have their favorites. Yeah. And know more than three names in women's cycling. And it's it's incredible. It's yeah. it's like it's like this wave of momentum that's unsolvable. And so honestly, what you've done for it is just I don't think people will know like the I'm, things that you've done behind the scenes that people don't uh, always necessarily see that you are always but, pushing. You know, for Zwift it. gave me that platform because early on they just believed in it. You know, we had the opportunity to do things differently because we have our own virtual world, and we decided that we're going to use that world to build the future of cycling that we want to be a part of. And it's just amazing to see, and thank you so much for inviting me out. I've absolutely loved it, and you always make me tear up on camera. I know, no, no, no. I love well, it. Though, why do we do it? What what do we do? All about. I know, it's just amazing. On that note, from Kate, we're both a little bit teary. We always get a little bit teary. Um, it is important though, and I'm just so grateful that I get to be here. So I'm going to ride back now. I hope you've had an amazing, hope you had an amazing day watching me have had a really fun and amazing day. And I'll see you all very soon. All right, <laughs> I've got a really good video. Next video coming. I think you're going to really love it. Uh, it's kind of not something that I've normally done. It's a little bit sneaky. Anyway, I'll see you next video. Bye.